hopefully it'll be quite like it. Yeah. I'm back. Stop throwing things at me. Come on. I'm back. I don't have it there. Yeah, um, I can tell. So this late this afternoon, um, it was uh, an email from Seth Jensen regarding yep. the possibility of EDA grant application. Yeah. And I would. Number nine, got it. EDA grant what is, what's that uh, Economic Development okay. Agency. Okay, we're adding it. Number nine, okay. check. Anything else? Uh, the other things I think we can do under um, board concerns and issues. Correct. Okay. Anybody else have anything? So uh, I would suggest that he steps A with uh, our <laughs> in the long railroad street, perhaps outside of the grid. This is the yeah. follow the, the continuation of follow the yellow bar. Oh, yeah. What's it for? It's okay. for Tuesday. Sorry, you didn't sign. I don't think it's yeah. Um, the noise waiver and the noise waiver request that this came in today, and it's for an event on this coming Saturday night. Okay. Yeah. Any other item? Okay. Um, reviewing invoices and orders. I'm in the midst of it. Someone wants to take them over for me. I'll have to pick it back up, but otherwise I'm going to keep it in front of me and keep going. Um, review and approve select board minutes from June 19th and the joint board meeting minutes from June 14th. Anyone want to act on those or no? They're not ready. I'm just double checking. No is a suitable response if we're not ready. Who are we think? This is uh, Susan. Susan. I wrote the part. All right, I'll make a motion to approve um, both sets of minutes. A motion, do we have a second? I'll second it. Purpose of discussion. We have a second and discussion. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to discuss? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I could have just said discuss the second. <laughs> you could have. <laughs> uh, does anyone else want to discuss anything? No, are we ready to vote? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I are you gonna aye. are you gonna I are you gonna vote on it? This is the minutes, guys. This is the slowest meeting ever it is. Not a slow this was the minutes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Shane. Issues and concerns. Is this the select board issues and concerns? It is. Okay. I've got a couple. Go for it. Um yeah. <clears throat> I would like to know whether or not the board is interesting. So we, have, we really have two issues, um, uh, general cemetery maintenance and then the grow cemetery fence issues. Mm -hmm. Since we're now in a new budget year, do we want to put out an RFP for cemetery, stone repairs, maintenance, et cetera? And or do we want to do something with grow cemetery fence? It doesn't have to be, you know, I just don't want to lose track of that. I feel like we put an RFP out last year and didn't get any responses. No, we did. Um, it was a little bit more than twice our yearly budget for cemetery maintenance. My big question on that is can we, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Earmark this year's maintenance for cemeteries because when we had talked about it at that time we were talking about trying to get them in in the next fiscal year but span two fiscal years worth of maintenance so that way we could have years span this year well like or this year depending yeah as of june 30th we would be able to use the remainder of what was left for me which is a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in terms of what's it's there very, very little correct and we would be able to use this year's as well to build the fence. 
that was the last board. I'm still interested in that. If we can reserve those funds or hold them over, what's the term? Hold over. Carry over. Carry over, yeah. What I'm was, interested in doing that still. What was the code of number of I want to say twelve. Okay. Twelve thousand seven hundred and forty dollars or something like that. Mm. And we budget what sixty five hundred. That was for maintenance, like all that was old for putting. Or... That was for putting a fence around three sides. Okay. And that was chain link, black, final coated. And and I I would advocate that it might be worth trying to go back out for an RFP and see if we could get some more interest. Uh, in repair or the fence? Uh, in, in, yeah, okay, so let's take it, two issues. One is we didn't, we did put out an RFP for cemetery stone maintenance, and I think you're right, Beth, that if that was what you were talking about, I don't That's think we received any responses. I will tell you that my personal opinion is that that was not a well-written RFP, and I'm not surprised that we didn't get okay. any, any responses. Mm -hmm. So if we separate the issues, um, and I know money is going to be one of those issues, we, we talked about a number of different things with regard to the fence, one of which was um, a fence just along the front and along the side, along the Gary Whitehill side, which yeah. was considerably less expensive expensive than the three side. And I thought we did settle on allowing neighbors to help install. Well, that was certainly a topic of discussion and one that I'm certainly open to if if we if if that could be a volunteer project if we purchased the materials and we got volunteers to install the fence. To me that's the kind of thing that you could use volunteers for effectively. Mm -hmm. um, Especially the neighbors. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah. since they volunteered. Yeah. Uh, literally. I, I thought at one time we had pulled back from the chain link to something less substantial. I think it was. Uh, oh, didn't we start out with a bolt that was vinyl fencing, like waiting cemetery around all four sides, and then asked for a more cost efficient bolt and that came down to three sides of chain link because there's already an established fence on the roadside mm -hmm. split rail that I guess would pass. Okay. We're really digging on memory for an old guy like me here, Mark. Yeah. You know, personally I'd be fine I with I don't I don't think it needs to be a chain no my personal opinion is it doesn't need to be a chain link fence. And it, it could be a split rail fence on you know two or three sides which I think would be less money. And are we at peace with um, the boundary on the right hand side? With the White Hill, uh, Bidwell side? Yes. I, you know, I we don't have the benefit of Brian's input on that anymore. We, we my understanding is that issue has okay. been addressed and resolved. Okay. I, I also think that we should actually mark that out and record it somewhere in the land records um, as an agreed upon boundary between the two properties. Um, I continue to um, make what we don't have. So rather than, you know, so guessing in extensive detail. Yeah, could we, could we just have it as an agenda item at some point in the future? Yeah, let's put fence as one agenda item. And for the RFP for maintenance, I don't know that we have to talk about it other than people want to do that. I would be supportive. I think we're really gonna we're really gonna get behind the eight ball. We we used to budget ten thousand a year for cemetery yeah. maintenance. And and that got lowered. I, do you know what it is now? It's in is it? So we're we're already you know, losing ground on that item from what we used to do. Um, the biggest issue is finding somebody to, to do the work. Right. Um, you know, that's been a real problem. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm open to putting an RFP up for the maintenance very specifically. And Duncan, yes. this is just stone maintenance. 
It's not mowing. No, this is this is care of the stones, cleaning, stone repair, resetting. A lot of those stones are just slab stones, so they're falling over. I mean, they're literally falling over. Um, and it, it's okay. Yeah, I don't want. So, I could talk about this for another. RFP. Hour, but... Um, let's resurrect the old one and update it. I'd be more than happy to work with Carl on on trying to get a more a, a simpler RFP. Okay. Um, my only concern about that, and I, I have to given this much thought one way or the other, it's possible that I would respond to the RFP officially. And if I did, obviously I would recuse myself from any activity. So, you know, maybe it's better if I'm not involved at all. Having okay. done it before, I know. So Carl, do you want to take that action of writing up an RFP without Duncan's involvement? <laughs> and then if you have questions. Make sure I understand where the services you're visiting for what cemeteries. Yeah. Okay. Now we would have thirteen thousand five hundred if we had all last year's and all this year's. Okay. Okay. So that's one. The other one that I would like, I think the simplest way to do this, I actually asked Seth at the Marvin Awards, uh, Seth Jensen at LCPC, to put together a brief overview of the Holmes Meadow project, because I think uh, I certainly didn't know a whole lot about it. I suspect Shane knows little or nothing to expect. Mark knows little or nothing about their project. So I asked him to put that together. They submitted, I think Victoria Helm did the actual memo. Mm -hmm. And that was, I think, circulated to you, you and me. Mm -hmm. um, I would ask that that memo be circulated to all board members so everybody is aware. Oh, that? Oh, last week. was it last week? Okay. Yeah, it may have been well in his mind. Yeah, it's in Carl's report. Okay, good. Right. I'll, I'll throw it out. I think that right. letter was a report. Good overview. For the June meeting, I think. And it might be included again. Um, you have a quarterly progress report for Holmes Meadow Grant, technically, not the project. Right. And, and then the meeting before I received that same information. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything else in the list? Um, and the issues or concerns, sorry. Can we just come back to invoices and orders at the end of the meeting? Sure. Do it right now. Um, the payment from the Johnson Historic Society to Johnson Historical Inc. Inc. Is that something that always happens? Yes. When they send out their membership letter asking for money, they have when the category is for the building. Yeah, that goes into your bank account. And sometimes people put it all in one check. And Alice can't split it out, so I can even year I write a check to the ink company for for the difference. Yes. Okay. So it's actually money that's received. It's not taxpayer money. It's it's money membership and fees. That, that helps. It just was a different one, and the paving is this. That's not the whole thing. Right, it's not. Is this just what we're putting in this fiscal year? Or no, last said that year? one bill is another bill coming for $100,000. So, is this what we're taking out of fiscal year 22 23? Yeah, that's pretty close cool. to budget. No, it's not. Is it? No, well, um, okay, <laughs> it's cooler when it started. 
The grand total is going to be like 300,000. Yeah. This invoice is only 1,700 over what was budgeted for last year. So I briefly spoke to Jason about it today. He said the original bid was 216,000. And this is just for two rooms. Gotcha. Anybody else have questions about invoices? Everybody else hasn't seen them yet. Everyone this way has, but Mark has to do. Mark, look at that. Okay. Um, Treasurer's report. Review and approve fiscal year for the tax rates. Okay. The we're in looking for 23, but 415,998. And is that 1% meaning 1% growth in it over last year? No, that's the 1% of the grand list. Oh, that's 1% of the grand list. How much did it grow from last year? Not a whole lot. Can that have possibly be? Because we haven't reassessed. I mean, all the work that Evan has done in his place. Okay. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Last year was a really good growth year. I mean, just thinking new construction. That, that's okay. 1% or less. That's my project. Oh. Okay. Um, the budget was two million eighty four thousand six hundred eight hundred sixty nine dollars plus the fifty thousand for the articles for a grand total of twenty one thirty four eight sixty nine. Then there's a town tax rate at point eight eight two three. Then we add the adjustments for the school tax, which is $11,988.96. And that adds a 0 0.005 to the tax rate, so a total tax rate of 0.8882. So we don't currently have any tax stabilization agreements that require? No. And that, I know it's very, very minimal, but that includes what the voters voted for select board salaries in the general budget oh. increase. No. That, that's very, very small. Yeah. I don't it, won't, it probably won't even change. I don't even yet. know if it changed the any of the. But it well, has the $50,000 for economic development in it. So the, the total tax rate that we would be looking at is 0.8882. Yes. Is the 50,000 from the articles the economic development? Yes. So what you were asking? Yes. Okay. And um, where is it here? It's in our packet. Meeting's happening so quick, I can't even keep up that. Uh, so there's something in here for NEMS having tax exemption, which I don't believe they actually have. We discussed that earlier this year. spoke to Justin about it today, and he has not given me He was going to look into it, and that would make a very, very small difference. Actually... Understood. It would cost the town money. Are you looking at the 411? No. I believe their tax agreement ends this year. I believe it ends this year. This year. They this, believe this it ended year. last year, right? Ending date. 331, 23. 23. Right. And we just ran with that to just before. That's probably why they put it under. Yeah. 
So they really shouldn't be getting all the real competitive stabilization, which is how you set it up, right? I did it according to their 411 as of today. And the 411 has them in under attack stabilization? Yes. You see where it says um, we're in for all the exemptions, about halfway down the page. Yeah. The 320,000 recommends. Where's the so there's the whole 320? Yes. And that's municipal only, and we have to make up the difference on the statewide property tax. Or does the state recognize the state? state recognizes it. What's the in the uh, non homestead education as an exemption? Yeah. Well, because it's, because it's not. So, Evan, is your question, should we base the tax rate on the 411 or subtract 320 out? It's already subtracted it out, isn't it? You subtract it out of 0.8871 instead of 0.8882. The eleven tenths, eleven thousandths, thousandths. Yeah, that was good. Last week we talked about this might be a pair of emissions. Select what we're going to do. In fact, last week, the way that it's presented. But. So if we set it at 0.8882, would set it that. What if we set it at 0. 0.8? We should not play around with numbers. Seven one. We can we could hope that it was dealt with errors and omissions. I mean, we could do it as an as an even level, but if the tax if we're setting the tax rate that has that number built in. Then that's we're going to be raising three hundred twenty thousand dollars that we don't need to raise. Uh -huh. No, that's well, the assessment. Yeah, like that would come off your grand list right. of total tax yeah. rate, but that's, but it's it, it, the value of three twenty. It's and you just did the cal calculation on what that three twenty would be. Yeah. If it's on the tax rate, yeah, with it without it, it's 0. 0.8871. It's if you level. add it oh, back it's into the grand list, and we're pretty sure that that expired, that stabilization agreement expired at the end of March. Mm -hmm. And like, right. but because we cannot exempt educational tax and town tax, but without exempting the town tax, it actually costs Johnson residents more. Although we already have a contract with them for this year, we do they need to come up with a difference? Well, they'll begin to bill for town and school tax, right? Without the exemption, mm -hmm. what what did he testify, Rosemary, that other towns are doing? They're not, they're not, they're not exempt. We're the only one who well, has given them exempt 
status. We're the only town that has a building. Right, any town in Lowell County, we're the only one that has. Oh, yeah. But it must have buildings in Newport and Newport, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure Scott told me that they are not exempt. Just not in public. That, yeah, like that's that. what I thought I would call too. I know he said that to me at an event months ago. Yeah, the only reason they were originally exempted is because they would need to come up with the town and educational tax mm -hmm. spread out among the towns. Johnson pays 46% of their budget. So we would have to, like, our portion of the contract would raise more than the town would get in taxes, in tax revenue, if you will. So actually save the taxpayers a little bit of money by exempting them from taxes. Mm -hmm. We're going down a rabbit hole. What, yep. What's the board want to do? But you can make the motion back. Okay, fine. I motion that we have a local tax that we approve the local tax rate of point zero point eight 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 two. Beautiful motion. I'll second that. Motion a second. Any discussion? Rosemary, I just want to ask. Because I'm ignorant of this stuff up. The top number of 0.8833, then you pull off the basically 11988 mm -hmm. off from the grand list. Is that what I'm looking at? Mm -hmm. And then the tax rate goes down. You would think it would go up. It is going up. It is going 0.8882 versus 0.8883. Right. It's, they're both 0.88. But the third one is a eight instead and of a three. It's, it's up five hundred thousand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I missed the name. Thank you. Any other discussion? That can you want to say something? Um, I can vote for that tax rate with a caveat that I, if their agreement ends. Then we should do an EO that takes that off the 411. I guess I guess what I'm saying is I'm not I'm not prepared to accept the 411 tonight as written with that 320 still in there. Even if it even if it costs us more money, the, the bottom line is we did not approve that right. extension, um, and I don't think it should be on there. Are you proposing a friendly amendment to the motion? If we if we set the tax rate at the at what you said, we're going to raise more money than we actually need. That makes sense to me. So uh, you had it figured at eight 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 seven one one eight eight seven one. Yeah, I would be happier approving the amount that we actually need to raise. But. I'm happy to amend, but either way, it can be handled correctly, I think. If we want to put a caveat in, if Rosemary confirms the 8871, then we can do that. It's fine with me. Well, if we approve the 8882, the board decides to. Uh, That'd have to be the board civil authority. Say it tax stabilization agreement? No, that's a board, select board approval ownership. And we had an agreement that expired. Right. And we did not renew. That's true. Because Scott came in and asked that's us true. if we would renew. And we said and we no. We said no. Yep, that is true. So as of right now, they do not have a tax stabilization agreement with the town. Okay, and from the amendment of 8871? Or are you not feeling that? I guess my question is, are there downsides to doing 8871? Because, I mean, we don't have this cost to, to worry about. Um, it, I mean, correct. So that's not that's not something that 
we're going to need any amount of money. Okay. Then, yeah, I, I would see no reason. Very confident that ever was right. Yeah, that was the I other. I have another sheet that's like Okay. So why did you present this one? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. It matched. It matches the four eleven. Or four eleven. Basically, it matches what people voted on. Do, do we need to sign off on the four eleven? Yeah. You want to do 8871? I guess we'll let the motion die. And... We can just amend it. It's a live motion. Yeah. Let's just, just, just amend it. A friendly amendment for me. Do you accept it? Yeah, and I'm really it. hesitant, but sure. You don't have to. You can say no. And then I will die. I'm just hesitant. What's giving you hesitation? A lot of things. A lot of things shaking. Um, that small won't make a huge difference, and we'll run a surplus anyways. Probably. So I could get behind eight eight seven one. Okay, friendly amendment. We're voting on eight eight seven one. John, are you good? Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I I have it. Uh, I just totally like butchered my sheets. Like we can't find this one. Um, <laughs> I wrote on this one that's the other one. 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 Yes. Okay. Um, quick question, Rosemary. While we're in your report, do we have an idea what year in surplus is looking like? I know we're still paying invoices and signing tonight. I think we'll be fine. Fine is. Two hundred thousand ish. <laughs> when do you think you'll have an actual? Hopefully the next meeting. For, for the like next July meeting, meeting or the first August meeting? Let's do the first of August. First of August, August meeting. Would, would that be soon enough to have an actual? I guess it'll be Yeah, that's fine. Just asking. Okay, and we need to decide about what you're going to do with. Forty-five thousand. Is that for the economic person for the last fiscal year? Right. I'd rather do that. I think we need to care a few things. Yeah, I think it should be like reducing to... taxes. But... If it goes to reduce taxes, we need to decide that tonight. We need to decide that tonight. No, no, no. Um, I want to talk about it more for a few different reasons. Uh, talk about it more. We'll talk about when we know what the surplus is too. We'll get that factor place a little bit. But okay, cool. So August first August meeting you said. I just have one more question. Does it? I'm beyond. Do you have this audit report? And soft copy that could be emailed by chance. Yes. Yeah. Could you email me a copy, please? Thank the you. whole part. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. The one time I don't like paper mark. Rosemary, do you have anything else? No. Okay. Um, next bills will go out soon. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get the bills. You have to pay the bill Wednesday. We were sick last Friday. Hopefully that well. Friday or next Monday. Yeah. 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 There was an email about uh monitor for the um uh, listers. Oh yeah. That whole system should be replaced. Well, computer. Do you have a poll? No. Could somebody give us a poll? Yeah, can you add that to your list uh, for placing your list or your computer? Thank you for the information. And they just need uh, web access, essentially. Like, they're not doing any. Do they download software on it, or is it all web-based? They have um, a lot, most of it's web-based. 
I'm not sure about their the thing they use for their graphs for their sketching. If that's on the notes. Okay. If that's not like their usage of applications and what applications they have should go into the type of computer we get because if they are just using the internet for everything, we don't need a high process a high computing processor, uh, which will make a difference in the total cost. Um, our vendor can help with that, but it's important that they just know that how it's used. So we'll want to know what kind of programs are on it in order to get a good code. Who will do that then? Tech group. Our tech, tech group. group versus the actual listener. Well, the listers should be able to say whether they open an internet, internet browser or not, but the tech group should have access to their computer anyway. So they should look it over and verify with the listers whether they're happy with these programs. Okay, cool. And in the other part of that question was. I think when we signed the agreement, we indicated that we would look into sharing a tablet or some form of mobile out of office system between Hyde Park and Johnson. They, I think they mentioned that, but didn't specifically request it, but okay. we, we should have that in our, in our thought process and either Hyde Park or us should Come up with what a, you know what what they need and um, and be willing to cost share on that because we agreed that we would do that as part of our part yeah. of our agreement. Okay. So maybe they can. Well, then that, then the question becomes: too. Do they just need a tablet tablet or do they need a computer too? Well, that's well, a great question. I mean, could they do? Could they do? I mean, right now, they've got a stationary system, right? Which, if I remember correctly, is a hand me down from one of the other office Probably. replacements. It's, it's not seven years old. Yeah. Replaced. Yeah. So the question might be if they had a laptop, would that serve the function of a tablet and an office computer? Yeah. I don't know enough about it to know whether it would or wouldn't. But. Well, my question was going to be, you know, Hearing tablet, it sounds like they want something that they can use while they're out and about. Yes. Do they need a mobile data plan as well? And yeah. that's going to add cost. So yeah, I think we just need to do some digging because they might just need a tablet that can connect to a keyboard, mouse, and monitors, right. and not even need a, a laptop. Like yeah. I don't know, right? There's lots of different yeah. things. Yeah. It, would, it would be great to get some ideas from the listers as to what their actual need is. Yeah. Okay, good. Do you have any questions, Carl? I'll start with you. Awesome. Okay, sounds good. Um, anything else for this time? No. Uh, review plan purchases. I don't know. Uh, we don't have any plan purchases, correct, Carl? Right. Okay. Um, we, we like that. Okay. So, update on the Memorial Valley Rail Trail celebration. All right. All right. So, we had. Uh, so, we have been uh, having some discussion with Richard Bobby. Um, getting things set up for your job. And that's the coordinator from uh, uh, office. Yeah, yes. I think from general services. Uh, one of the you know, departments over there at the state. Um, and so we are set up to have the formal stop at noon uh, on the 15th. At this point, we're kind of thinking uh, an event that will kind of have people there for noon when the owner comes through and afterwards we'll do kind of ice cream. Uh, you know, water seltzers, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a donation lined up, a small donation lined up from Sterling Market. I need to see what the actual figures are, but it's at least like $55 worth of merchandise. Um, I was kind of pricing things out. I think we could potentially get uh, $150 to $200 funding. We can really like uh, 
get things filled out, that would probably be at the very high end. You know, if things really didn't, <clears throat> if the donation from Sterling really didn't cover much, that would be on the high end of getting everything put together. And that's including things like uh, getting all the serving things, getting any sort of like decorations or things for, you know, parking signs, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying to, we're thinking, you know, in case you and I went over today to kind of talk through it, uh, we're thinking it would be a pretty tight event. Um, one thing that Richard had asked for potentially was the town being able to provide one or two more portalettes. Um, they're thinking that they're going to bring a couple in, uh, but if maybe we had a couple more. Yeah, they're bringing, more. They're bringing two. Yes, they're definitely bringing two. They're bringing their own portalettes? Yes. <laughs> There's going to be a whole rent. <laughs> I mean, they're arriving sometime. Yeah, <laughs> they're going to be put in front of the parking lot. Okay. We need to commandeer that parking lot for yes. security, state portlets, and handicap parking. Yeah, that was one of our other, other asks so was when we'd be able to somehow get the parking area by the uh, top garage and uh, food shop there kind of closed off that day. We think that there would be enough parking in the park there uh, for people who are coming to the event to you know, free to go and everything. But uh, there are requirements as far as uh, the governor's office side of things. So are you just looking for permission to do that? And like, you know how you're going, like you have volunteers to to do it? What are you, like, what are you thinking? What, is, what are you asking? I guess, well, for let's spend some money as a yeah. cost, um, you know, that we're asking. Yes, and we've been asked to We've been understood. Yep. Town to contribute one or two portalettes. Yep. If, you know, in the day. And we are, do they know we already have a portalette there? One. Yeah. And they know that. Yes. Oh, yes. And okay. they want two total? Two, yeah. They would like to see two. They're bringing two. And so four total. Total of four. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Okay. The, okay. I think the thought is that there will be a large group of people biking with him that day. Yes. And they have to make 50 people and they want to keep moving right through. they're probably spending five to ten minutes at each stop so if people need to go to the bathroom they gotta get to maybe it. they're hooked behind the bikes um, okay so i got it so that's the ask and then the other ask is cordoning off the parking lots on the far side on the town side of the garage and etc and for that, what do you? What is the app? Well, I, let me yeah, tell you what. Uh, this yes is to have public or the town approved to just use flagging. Um, oh, they need they need one cone to show the security guy where to park. Yeah, you know, one traffic cone. That's nothing. Yeah, but um, can the highway department can they you know put on that off on Friday? And what's Friday. the purpose of closing it down? Else's so, so it's restricted to the kids for the four months for handicap parking and for regular security. Yeah. Yeah. There are bikes. Wow. Well, they're driving in between. I got to make sure everything's set up yeah, for it's, still, it's a small area. Of yeah, we're talking about the spots right next to the rail trail, the ones in front of the um, food shelf. Yeah. Would it be sufficient if we just open the gate and put a cone at the op opening of the gate? Okay. Like there's there's already, it already gets closed off. What? It already closed off the road between the food shelf and the town okay. um, garage. It used to be closed off all the time and it's not closed off hardly ever anymore, but it used to be. Seriously, farther. Like that's for around the town and village garage. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Why not? And let security park in there. That's if they want to close that spot. However, however it was done, just as long as we've got a, a home. dedicated space, <laughs> a space for those things. Okay. okay. Yeah. We know how many. It's pretty close in proximity, but it doesn't have to be like right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. I mean, if that's sufficient, that's easy enough. No, probably want to get in and out easily because you probably gonna drive here after leaving the spot back with yeah. us Cambridge from San Diego. Yeah. Then as the governor is leaving here on the trail, we all want to get in the cars driving more. Yeah. So essentially we could ask Jason to have the gate closed but not locked. 
Right. Do we have any sense of how many total spaces they think they might need? Not that, no, I'm not. I don't think total spaces. I, I don't think, see all that. I think it only has one or two security cars. Right. There yeah. might be different press cars and things with them, though. I'm not yeah. sure as far as the. The I don't know the, the other concern you two cars the other concern that was brought up at the meeting was handicap parking as well yes and, yeah, yeah. And but yeah I mean I, I when we had talked about it at the meeting my thought was you know there's five spaces there let's say three of them could be reserved for governors and then handicap spaces and then I you know if we want to put the portalettes there we can put the portalettes there but if we want to. We can find other other places for the four lots. Um, uh, I've been the organizer of big events there. Um, I've organized soccer tournaments multiple years, and like when I say big events, it's hundreds of people down there. And the biggest problem we have had was getting people all the way into the parking. Yeah. So I think that if you have volunteers having two people where the food shelf is pointing folks down into the old mill park parking lot mm -hmm. and also where um Len way mm -hmm. where that intersection is like keeping them flowing that way yeah and if they're handicapped they will ask you can stop people from parking by the food shelf by the way by doing that and people who are handicapped will ask for handicapped parking and you can have them yeah. go into the food shelf as long as you have two flaggers, like I actually don't think you probably need much of anything. You just need people to yeah, keep yeah. the traffic moving where you want them. And I'm assuming that the town crews would have orange vests and everything for the flaggers to wear. I don't know. It would be just sucks. Yeah. I mean, if the same as we're supplying and t shirts for people that are working the event, you know, for that day. Yeah. But, but better to have yeah, if you're directing parking, you should definitely have reflective this on. Um, maybe the sheriff's department would that's far off then. That is a good point. The sheriff's department might actually volunteer to come down and help flag. I think them being involved is perfectly reasonable. And if they're flagging, the town doesn't have to worry so much about liability. I'm not saying. Anybody does dangerous things, but nobody's gonna argue with the sheriff, hopefully. Anyway. They, yeah. tend to jump the on, they tend to jump on things like this. They yeah. tend to like to be involved in this kind of thing. Yeah. It's great community outreach for them. Yeah. 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 And they need it. We'll come we will do that and then we'll get that's a problem for whatever reason. Um can hold you. Yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah, that well, sounds good. Yeah. We're not planning on a meeting before then. <laughs> no, they can. I think if they have problems with the sheriff's department, they should. I think the initial question was request for public works. So basically, you need to you just need a call. Um, we've uh, been speaking with Dean. Um, I earlier. He said, "Oh boy, you know um, there." We could see some things that perhaps needed doing uh, site wise uh, that you might need some help with. I, I don't know what all those things are, but in, you know, I he may need some additional help. He may, have, he may have some tasks. I don't know what they are yet. So that, that follow. Um, yeah, yeah. The portal that has already, the one portal that is at Center has already been moved down to where it sat during construction. It's solved all kinds of problems. Okay, good. So that yeah. already taken care of. And if we, the, the additional town portlets could be put right next to it mm -hmm. on a grass to push the level. Okay, let's talk about that for a second. So uh, I'll reach out to Dean. Um, Actually, do you want to reach out to Dean? I just would like to know what he's like. I'm not sure what he's trying to coordinate. And if we can keep it simple, we should keep it simple. Um, and so the ask at this point of this select board is about portalettes. Portalettes and a bit of party. Yeah. It's, uh, and for, for like supply kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay. Thoughts? Do you need a motion for? Yeah. 
portalettes. The portalettes. And We're going to spend it outside of the budget. Yeah. Portalettes. Well, we do have portalettes in our rack budget, but then this is additional. This is addition. Could we get one loop? I, that's, what I was, that's what I was going to ask. Probably just put it on the front of the loader and bounce around the boat. <laughs> that's a it's joke. It's really not, hot. You know, I sort of construction. It's not really a joke. We have to solve something. Let's get there. My guess right. is, is that we should just get it. We should yeah. just move to put a couple, two more portal lets up to two hundred dollars. To the, I think they only asked for one more. Is it up to two, no. two total ones there, right? I they, they, ideally they wanted two additional yeah. portal lets. Yeah, so it'd be three total ones there. Plus there are going to be two states. Three portal lets down there, and two hundred dollars. You make a motion. I make a motion that we. Supply two additional portalettes for the July 15th governor's ceremony and an appropriation of up to $200 for um, additional supplies for the, com the committee that is doing this one. What's, what's the official name of this committee? The Johnson Red Trail. Real Trail Committee. Johnson Red Okay. So there's my motion. Okay. I do have a second. I'll second. And we have discussion. Housekeeping item. This committee is covered by town insurance, correct? It's a committee. It's a newer committee. committee. I just want to make sure. But any other committee? Yeah. All right, yeah. great. Duncan, what were you going to say? Um, does that does that meet your needs? Does that meet your ask? Yeah, it does. And I just FYI for the town portion of this day. It's not the governor's minutes. Uh, we have reached out to all the committee heads and also the judge promise say, Do we want to do something? <laughs> uh, and I, I didn't want I wanted to wait till after tonight to end the holiday to start really bugging them, but wouldn't it be grand if the start will decide you wanted to do some sell some pie or if judge promise wanted to have a table? You know, so right. we're we are recruiting. Well, that's awesome. That. I like that. I like so, recruitment. Yeah. Um, the college, the college might have the college might be interested too. Um, but okay, cool. We're gonna vote. Votes ready? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed. No, it's going by. Ayes have it. Congratulations. And that's the money portion. As far as public works goes, if it doesn't work out with the sheriff's department, I guess uh, we don't. We now don't have a specific request from public works. Um, okay. I, there, there Except you need a fine. You need some. You know, you know, like pull down, wrap stuff, please, and shove it over the board. Site tidy, maybe volunteers if it's too much for us. Or honestly, yes, it would be great to check with me because I'm sort of echoing in a big, very big way some of the email. I just wanted to make the committee aware the union contract does allow. They're not on call during the weekends all summer. Okay. They can optionally decide to work overtime, but they have every right to say no. Okay. Yeah. We were thinking of prep. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Possible prep. Uh, one housekeeping thing on my end. Uh, for the donation from Sterling Market, I'll just need uh, basically a piece of official letterhead. I don't know if I would end up signing. Motion to authorize the chair to get the committee what they need. Uh, All right, motion and a second. Do you have a second? Second. We have any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. All right. We'll get you a letter. So you'll deal with that. All right. Just hope you yeah. Yeah. To, to Carl. Okay. So Carl will get you a letter. I don't see my signature. Yeah, I'll shoot you an email to say what numbers you need and where Did you guys deal with the Conductor for the day, Brock Lanancho. Yes, Eric sent me a thing. I need to finish it. I'm on it. Now, grocery's got the hat. Grocery's going to get the letter. 
letter needs to get framed or the certificate needs to get framed. You know. Who is Rosemary giving it back to? Uh, that's a selectman. I we don't know. Do you want to? Do you want to give it to him or? Yeah. Eric, we could get uh, Eric's going to be out of town. Yeah, uh, it, should, it could be the chair. But, but definitely, you're lucky that my uh, it is a transportation project. Should probably be the road commissioner, right? Yeah, I'll be there. Make it get it really heavy for him so he can carry it. Mm -hmm. Maybe it'll be a little bit Okay. Yeah. Chuckling them back with all the others. Okay. I don't know about depending on the conductor hat, though. I don't feel like. You have to, you well, have to gently that. place that on his head. Well, the, the idea is to try to get his picture. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. There's, one, there's three pictures that I have. One is the presentation thing, one is a group shot of the Faithful following riders, right, with the dove in front of our rail car, mm -hmm. and then Johnson Mobiles with yeah. the dove in front of our rail car. And okay. how much time does he have allotted for Johnson? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Go ahead. He so needs to go to the fourth minute. we need to have more time to stuff Yes. Yeah. Tenfold, okay. at least. Okay. <laughs> the voting of this event. So I think I tagged or sent all of you the official uh, Facebook video that the um, governor made saying that he's going to do this. And he's asking that all the towns put it on their Facebook pages and promote oh, okay. it. So that should be done. Think of that. And then we're, and then, um, we're going to do some front porch farm yeah. posts. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do some more Facebook stuff. And Hopefully get it in the news and citizen under community notes. So anytime anybody can share or link to get the word out from, from a town and personal. Um I'll make it. Okay. 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 Bring it back something from Ireland there. No, I actually I brought it to Ireland and infected it. Like, oh, all right, all right. Okay, yes. beautification committee. Really Thank, you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Beautification committee approval for application for the VCF grant. Should have set up all meeting. It got to a full <laughs> meeting really quick, didn't it? Yeah. We knew it was going to happen, but and I was I was pushing things off from other people. I told group we'd be home by eight o'clock. So. You lied to us. Okay, beautification grant. Um, so this is a grant for murals. Did you sign this? Yeah, that's been $7,500. No. Yeah, is. this is the clean copy. That's the clean copy. Um, okay, I have no idea other than that's the one. We've been invited to go for the grant, so we would like to do it. And we are asking more than for the start grant, partly because we can ask more for this grant. For the start grant is five thousand dollar limit. Yeah. This one you can ask up to ten thousand dollars. And because now we're kind of months behind our original deadline, we're instead of doing a bunch of the grant plus fundraising, we're just asking for everything that's mm -hmm. and there's no match. There's no match. Is there any reason you didn't ask for ten? You don't need them. You have to, you know, I have to give them a very specific budget. So just are there any changes in material on these new proposed murals or anything? Like what's your cost? The only Not difference cost. is that so last time for the last mural we were able to go to our files, they donated the plywood, which is a huge addition because plywood, as we know, is so expensive. So we're not doing that this time. We we put that in the grant, so that made the grant, you know, ask go up. Um, and we're also I was very fired by um, the way in which Juniper Creative Arts did their campaign night and having the community part of the project. So I asked Finn if they'd be interested in doing something like that, and they were totally for it. So we've added that as part of. 
uh, this process so that we'll have a community event as well. And so part of the budget is to pay in for their time for that piece, but also the materials. I would, I guess, uh, just to be more specific, like, um, there was some bleed through and that could just be because of weather. And I'm not sure if that's a yearly thing that's going to need to be done or it just needs to be done once there's still some bleed through on the one that's down there from last year. I didn't know if there was a change in material type to reduce that risk. What happened there was that um, didn't put a clear coat on. There wasn't bleed through, it just wasn't, there wasn't a, there wasn't a clear coat that was put on at the end. So we've done that now. I'm feeling. So shouldn't, so no, yeah. So there, this these new murals will be clear coated right away after the drive. So when we put up any flags, we we rented a lift for the day and then clear coated, and we put up the flags on the bridge on the same day. That this year. Yeah, like a month ago. I would have been touched up the whole thing. Clear coated. So it brand There's brand still brand. some spot. Uh, my motion actually is to authorize uh, the beautification committee to submit a BCF grant for the arts and social cohesion grant application for adding two murals to the town. I'll second that. And we'll approve the artwork before it's done, right? Getting the grant. We'll see yeah. about the grant, not about the artwork. Fair enough. But just clarifying. Um. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Ms. Tappet. I hope this includes professional cleaning in the outside of the building. <laughs> Done by Mark Woodard. Um, Back okay. me. Back me. <laughs> it doesn't need a cleaning. What will you know with the grant? Well, it's due July 18th. I think they let us know end of August. So Finn will paint basically through, it'll happen kind of through the winter and we'll install it from the spring as early as you let our class. Okay. So on the point of the artwork, we should hear more late summer on that. So we are, you probably remember we put a survey out to the community of which, um, Teams of Johnson that they wanted depicted in the mural. Mm -hmm. And those results came back. I think we had, I don't know, 75, 80 people respond. So it's a pretty that's good. Pretty good. Yep. And um, so Finn's confident that they can include those four scenes on these two murals. So it'll be okay. I thought they were look back on my notes, but I'm pretty sure it was. Near the park with a covered bridge in it, Legion Field with music happening and the pizza oven happening and the things that happen on Legion Field. Um, it was. But they're all Johnson there. Yeah. They're yeah, all all within, you know, riding, biking, walking distance of the rail trail. And has been mocked uh, mark them up yet? Um, very loose sketches um, because we didn't have the funding yet. I didn't want them to do anything too. Yeah, but I can't. If we get this grant, then absolutely. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Any other questions for Kyle? Oh, wait, we still have more. No questions. On the timing, mm -hmm. spring is tough. So it might be next summer, but let's Jason, you know, work with him if we get the funding. Yeah, I'll talk to Jason. I remember him saying that there's, if we give them enough time, there tends to be like, a week here or a week there that is not typically as busy. How long did it take? It, it took an hour. hour. Yeah. Okay. Um, flowers along Railroad Street. Follow the yellow brick road. Okay. Um, yes. So, um, so there was there was some email communi communication between most of between Kyle, Pearl, and Evan. I would say Evan asked a lot of good questions. Um, so you weren't here last time, I don't think. Duncan, were you? We talked about this last. Yeah, it was about a while ago. Yeah, I think I was here though. 
Um, it's about planting sunflowers from rail trail to try to get people to follow the flock sunflowers into the village. Um, and ultimately there has been some back and forth on how that would happen and what was reasonable for this year or not. Um, and I'm just totally summarizing. So please add the detail if you want. Um, but kind of landed on if we put it through the bridge uh, on one side of the bridge from the rail trail toward town, it at least gets people cycling in that direction um, and maybe not going the full extent of Railroad Street, but the original idea was to go to the full extent of Railroad Street and maybe next year, um, but with the idea of something visual and bright to bring to attract people in. Right, so Duncan, the, the beautification committee, you know, obviously we really, the rail trail committee has um, has also landed on this idea that we really need a bona fide bike lane mm -hmm. that potentially will be that the green strip between the road and the sidewalk as sort of the long-term solution as to how you get people off the rail trail to come to the village. Short term solution that the beautification committee thought would be nice, and we talked to Dennis Pons about it because the sunflowers are their flower, and their property is kind of the gateway beginning thing that people see when they're coming, you know, in both from both directions and then get to that intersection and decide if they're going to continue going or if they're going to come into the village is to um, till up. Along the old trust building, which is pretty just green right now and kind of overgrown, and then wrap around, go in front of Genesis Times and Goods, and then down that green strip to River Road East, and then that kind of grassy overgrown area by where the um, street signs are, and then um, to the bridge. And then eventually, maybe it's like next year now, then going down the whole green strip into the village. So we're calling it follow the yellow brick road because there's these yellow sunflowers and pretty and hopefully enticing and um the folks. So Jenna's promise is real the takers are very, very interested in doing this with us. So they're going to donate people power, maybe even a rototiller or two. We don't have any of that equipment. Um, and then the beautification committee said, well, we can contribute the sunflower seeds, and they'd be the ones that only grow about three feet tall, three to four feet tall, not those mammoth ones, so you can still see over them. Um, and then we would try to get other people in the community to help and just have it be a real community effort, but we need to do it really soon before we yeah. get any blossoms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to be five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Already. I have a friend who did it. He said he did it this week and they had beautiful blooms all September. So, yeah, I feel like I'm going to do it. Okay, what do you need from the select board? I guess you're collecting an approval to, to do this work. It wouldn't involve Johnson Works at all. It would, or sorry, um, public. public works. It would just be. As like Jenna's promise, and take your family and us to do it, to, you know, work in the towns, by the way, basically, up until the bridge. Okay. And then next year, people are really loving it, and we're all loving it, and then maybe go further. Questions, concerns? So I had a couple. Um, that right away, the right away is in the village. The town actually owns the property, not a right away. Um, so those green strips are actually owned by the town. It's town property. But we wouldn't necessarily need uh, landowner's permission. That's on railroad street. Uh, down railroad street. Actually, on the Manchester Hill side of the property. Uh, or River Road yep. East side where the guardrail is at. And up that green strip that's right by. Okay. Yep. Um, so it would be permission to do it on the town's property, not in the town's right away. And I had a couple of questions. Um, Kyle has checked with Public Works, and they don't believe that there's traffic flow concerns. I had asked 
that she checked with the village just to make sure that they maintain the sidewalks, that there was no issues with them, just to play ball with everybody. Um, and I had asked about maintenance, because uh, the beautification committee has said the gardens that already exist in town are too burdensome to be maintained. And I was, I had asked what the plan was for maintenance, adding yeah. all this work. I understand you're not looking to go all the way down Railroad Street this year, yeah. but it's not a small undertaking on a yearly basis. Well, the beauty of sunflowers, they, they're annuals. You have to plant them every year, which is the same. But we are going to plant them, and I, again, I talked to people with that before, we plant them quite thick, and sunflowers are, you don't have to eat anything. It's like, you, we're going to chill up all the grass, and then they sprout pretty quickly. Um, so as long as we keep continuing to get enough rain, they all don't come up, and then they kind of, you know, maybe the grass might grow around them if they're up, but you don't have to do something to be involved. What will be involved is when they're Done um, blooming, there's going to be stocks that will have to. So you're talking down in the fall. hours worth of work in the spring and the fall. Uh, well, we're talking about we're talking about a work day coming up soon if this is approved, and then another work day late fall to you know. Put all the dead stocks down on the town property. So, you know, it would be it would be like a work session for us. And that's easy to add that work to, guys. If we plan it and it's like a Saturday and all five of us are ready to come out, it's sort of flipper, we should be okay. It's what gets hard is when it's every week hours of meeting, <laughs> you know, that, that gets further up. But a, a one time here and there is not. Um, yeah. Okay. Did you have else? I think it's worth trying. Yeah, Van it's, it's, Given it's, the location, it's, I think it's a target for vandalism. Uh, but you'll never know until you try. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm all for it. Yeah. I am also. Okay. Have a blessing. So. Thanks. Yeah, I guess. Since it is since it is activity within the town side of it, I I I, I think we should have a function. Go, go, go. I, I would move to approve the use of the town highway right away for the planning by the beautification committee. Second. Discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I also have a really stupid question, but I'm not gonna ask it. Oh my God, you are wasting time. I have what I hope isn't a stupid You're question. The um, if in the future we wanted to use one of the locations you talked about to put in, say, a bench and a trash barrel, would it be easy enough to do that? I'm thinking of the corner of Railroad and River yeah, Road. Like a nice little area. Yeah. I think yeah, so it wouldn't be too difficult to. No, the great thing about, like I said, it's a blessing and a curse. You have to plan those sunflowers your way okay. so we could, if something was going to go there, we could plan around them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be a very nice good. I, I thought of that. Yeah. Uh, okay. I want to keep moving. Yeah. Oh, oh, you guys are killing me. What? what, 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 what. Suggestion that I have is to like consider it. flower boxes. Instead of. Uh, I'm not not talking a cheap little flower box. I'm talking like going to SD Ireland and getting waste concrete flower boxes made or something that you will put the town water once you're done. Like they're not happy that they're you can make it deep. You put a water trough in it. Okay. I think we leave I'll it so the people. Um, let's leave it to the experts. Let's keep moving, shall we? Uh, thank you, Kyle. Change. Noise waiver. Thank you for doing that. <clears throat> like off, but I don't know. Uh, you're, you don't have to do that. You're good. Uh, okay, noise waiver request. So there is a one day event. What's your name? My name is Carlo. Carlo? Uh, I'm, a little bit I'm from the Montpelier Plainfield Noise Waiver Project. Um, and I just wanted to 
I like for musical events, I've done an ad I've done for the last 20 years. And I had a space picked out, and unfortunately, when we started looking at it, it was kind of like late last minute space. We just didn't work with what we wanted to. And then he suggested that he got a cool spot up there uh, where he got it. So I just went and checked it out. And it's perfect. It got the stage, it got the infrastructure. It got, you know, enough part of people meeting. The world was like, we'll get about 150 people. Yep. So, and my original, uh, it basically, you know, dance music. Dancing, but the, the original lineup went from the door is somewhere at two, uh, music started at three, and then it went from two a.m. We got a DJ all lined up, so that's why I was about to that. But I'm old and beautiful, you know, whatever you guys feel. Can I give you any indication? <laughs> okay, um, okay, thank you for that. Yeah. Um, I did, I'm going to ask about the timing because I wanted to see what the timing of events there had been and Carl was kind enough to look it up and determine that previously it'd be 1 a.m. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we've had complaints at that location in the past. Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, it's actually closer to the Hogback side. Yeah. Like there's houses on the yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so my only question is um, concerning traffic control. Uh, have you reached out to the sheriff's department yeah, and let um, them know? He is doing that tomorrow. Okay. We got twelve volunteers that are just openly whatever. So we got yeah. yeah. The road there has been a safety issue in the past. So. Heard, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he wants to call the sheriff's and get that involved. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Any other questions? I will make a motion to approve. Unless, sorry. I would be a whole lot more comfortable with the one o'clock okay. um, time frame, 2, 2, 2 p.m. to 1 a.m. Okay. Why okay. Be, well, what's the difference between 1 a.m. and 2 a.m.? Well, I'd really rather go for 12, but um, well, so it's compromising. <laughs> An hour is the difference, but it's different. I mean, I was thinking the same thing. Our age. I know, but I was thinking the same I'm thinking of neighbors. Residential yeah. situation. There is one thing that you think about for everybody. He's up right. He's like, he's going to turn it off. That's pretty sad. What, Rosemary? You can make the last hour acoustic. Make the last hour acoustic? Yeah. I'm going to turn it down a bit, too. Doesn't have to pray the right now. I mean, we just gonna break it. I know. I was looking. It's actually right across the river. It's exactly across the river. There. Yeah. Yeah. I would get all days. The nineties. Okay. We didn't have noise waivers back then. Uh, I know that was before electricity. Like, they all went to it. It was all acoustic. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. So there's a request for one p.m. one a.m. End time on the board from Duncan, very specifically. Everyone else hasn't weighed in on that yet. Touché. Um, would 1 a.m. significantly limit anything you're trying to do? I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, you, know you guys are that there has to stop that record, whatever, whatever you guys really feel like maybe for um, like two would be better. But that's just turning the music down. It's not turning the music off. Well, what's the noise wave? Well, right. They can be loud past 10 p.m. Yeah. It's 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 about disturbing. Open for yeah, interpretation. Disturbing. Is there's I don't think there's a decibel. It's not a decibel. Yeah. It's so open to interpretation. Somebody. So if if the waiver goes until one, and they're still going at two, and somebody complains, then the sheriff can go in and shut them down because they're making a noise that's objectionable. And what would actually happen is the sheriff would go and say, "Can you please keep it down? Like yeah. you're out of you're out of the ordinance." They would. I've never heard about the sheriff's department issuing a citation. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. Um, I'm supportive of 2 a.m. You're supportive of 2 Okay. 
Who's making the motion and what are you? I don't care. I'll make a motion for 2 a.m. Okay, a motion for two. Is there a second? Yes. Now we have a second. Is there a discussion? I tend to agree with Duncan on my 1 a.m. I'm not trying to limit you. In my limited time on the board, there hasn't been complaints about parties there. Right. Do you want the start time on the motion? It would be, uh, well, the start time is listed as 2 p.m. Two to two. It really isn't. I guess my, my motion is yeah. as yeah. presented. Um, but just to note, our noise ordinance doesn't go into an effect into effect until 10 p.m. Anyway. Oh yes. Um, well, it does if it's amplified music. Oh, Duncan's correcting me. It does if it's amplified music. Uh, yeah. Which presumably it, it would, would be. be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you for correcting me. Um, ready to vote. Okay. All those in favor of 2 a.m.? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. You're nay. 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 We're going to have to continue. Wow, who's on the right wing? Like, Beth is slowing this meeting down. Yeah, for once. Don't get on here. Good to go. Uh, I'll vote aye. So you're good to go. Okay, we're really voting against you. Right, exactly. They were both voting nay. They're, they're, they're voting yes to no. Thank you, Donna. Mark, we're running late. Thank you. Thank you. Much. So you got it. Um, Thank you. Third lady, Yeah. Well, is there anything I can do here? I'm good to go. Um, we will. Carl will get you a copy of the noise ordinance of uh, the noise waiver, so you have it. Oh, perfect. Um, okay. And then, then you'll be good. Right. And those no, typically get. Email. 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 Carl, those those should be uh, emailed to uh, the Mount County Sheriff's Department as well, so they are aware yeah. in case they yeah. Yeah. I love your restaurants. Thank you. Very good. Lots of love hate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, we we could right. use a good piece of place right here in Johnson. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know, right? You know, I've been mean, I mean, I mean, just a minute coming up here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do last few days. Not before the, you know. Well, you have competition on Monday nights. Yeah. You have pizza in the pizza oven. Around the that, yeah, and and that's, oh, there's some good music for you, too, on Tuesday great. night. Yeah, that's cool. And you, did I hear the pizza oven? Yeah, wood fired pizza oven. Wood fired. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thanks, folks. Have a nice meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Bob. Okay. Review and approve amended sub grant from FEMA. Move to. Uh, can you can you just give an update on this, Carl? Do you mind? Update on the FEMA. Yeah. The update is in the afternoon for us. Uh, email from our contact Stila. She said she uh, did look into what the town was thinking about that balance of forty three hundred dollars, and the town's intent was to apply for the category Z money, which is uh, administrative expenses. Um, but she didn't have any more details. On that, she did suggest that I contact Kim C. You know, who's asking what the future of the pronounce and not Kim is the head of the public assistance division at the Money Emergency Management. And uh, I asked Kim if she could tell us which one of the staff members is in and if not, and she hasn't responded yet. Right. We'll get that information see if we can figure out what Johnson is thinking. And hopefully there's some record somewhere of staff members back at that time keeping track of their time. Um, it was been Did LCPC do the admin on that or did Brian? So are you saying that it's a highly High likelihood we will not have documentation. 
Okay. All right. So, Carl, would you like us to make a motion to guys in your? Yeah, we still day? we still want the ninety percent versus the seventy five percent. So, yes. I yeah. I would move oh, that we um, that we accept the revised grant agreement. Authorizing Carl to sign. Uh, I don't remember who did. I, I was here. Yeah, oh, Carl. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's a second. There's a second part to that too, right? Which is, which was, um, you would oh, actually sign part. the approvals. Yeah. If you authorize me to sign a sub grant agreement, then the you will sign the request. He filled out for us and sent me to you to sign. Yep. Okay. I don't think I would need your authorization to sign those. Yeah. Okay. So my motion would include um, authorizing Carl uh, to execute the grant agreement and subsequent any subsequent documents. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. That is great news. Yeah. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Rick. Um, we get like one like that every meeting. Let's before we get, I'm going to just swap the order of these two. Let's talk about the EDA grant application next, and then we can talk about update on the town administrator. So, EDA grant app. If you don't see, yes, late this afternoon, Seth Chenson from the uh, County Planning Commission contacted me. By email stating that he had been contacted by someone from Economic Development Administration, federal government um, office. And they were contacting him, I think, in follow up to a phone call that I received last Thursday or Friday from a staff member at EDA who was asking about the industrial park and still needed money for that. I filled him in on the Northern Borders grant of, um, application and uh, work regarding storm water. And apparently he took it upon himself to talk with somebody else at his office and then they reached out to Seth. Meeting Seth to ask us, ask me if the town wants to submit an EPA grant application probably by the end of July. And it would be for the same thing, basically, that you apply to the Northern Borders. So this would give you two shots at getting some grant money, mm -hmm. or perhaps both, um, for the direct structure industrial firm. The, the specific request to you tonight is would you authorize this and bear the risk of the expense. She said it could be 20 to 25 hours of sales and and this time at roughly $75 an hour. So you're looking at $1,500 to $2,000 perhaps in um, fees for the planning commission to prepare this. And if the application was successful, thinks that that could be rolled into the grant. How, how much would we be asking for in this next grant? Well, he said that a lot of the a lot of the information used for the northern borders I understand would be reused here. And I don't I was involved in that, so I don't know how much you were asking for the northern borders. It was it was over a million. Yeah. So it was one point two one point two three. Okay, three, I think. Yeah, I think our, our, our share was over eight. Yeah. So I just, but, should I just before you before you die. So our ask for northern borders is 1.3. And I as I would expect that this EDA grant could be north of a million dollar request too. Yeah, I think what you said was saying is you're sort of like hedging your bets and so you put in this application to, to EDA, the Northern Borders doesn't come through, then you've got 
another full application in the money rather than just applying for say two hundred thousand dollars. And does this grant require how much of a town match? Same as uh, the North Bear borders twenty percent. Okay. And he he explained that you could stack the two grants so that if Northern Borders comes through with a partial award and EDA comes through with some award, you put those together and then you provide your local national total. But the thing with stacking is that, like the thing with all of it that is really, really important is that it's an 80-20. We'd be paying 20% of cost. So if we were to stack, we had been planning to use Northern Borders money to pay that hundreds of thousands difference, that 20% of total spend borders, I for Northern Borders. We were using, using ARPA money. money. That's the word we didn't use. No, yeah. Northern, we were using, using ARPA money. Another word is 50, okay. It was 50%. And then to, to get to the 20, you'd use the ARPA money. To get to the 20, okay. And the twenty would be with the with bond, is what I had talked or, about, yes. or something. Yes. Or something. But my point is that if they both come through, that's a lot of spend. And it we could would, be it. It could mean that we could supplement our the EDA money for the ARPA money and have the ARPA money available for other purposes. Is that what it means? I think so. Way you could look at it. Yes. I think so. That's because true. because when Sat and Tosh were here, yeah, they talked about trying to find other sources of funding. EDA was mentioned mm -hmm. as one of those sources uh, of funding, yeah. okay. which could be used to offset the ARPA contribution. Cool. Okay. Okay. So then you should stack. Yeah. Then they truly would stack. Yeah. And um, if we were to get both grants, would we just have a lot of extra money to do more with, or would we have to? choose one and give the other one like what would that look like so i suppose if you get the total mountain grass for for most of borders and then a couple months later the EPA announces that they're reporting you full amount that you asked for and then you've got more then you need to factor in your 20 percent you would probably tell the EPA that we don't need say 1.4 million we only need it. Seven hundred thousand or whatever. That's how we build a town pool. But the reality is, it's going to cost a lot to do what things we want to do. I mean, the reality is, how often do you not do you have too much money? Well, one of the, Very one right. of the things yeah. that really didn't account for that well in that grant was um, fiber yeah. into mm -hmm. the site, which I think is critical. I agree. Um, that's critical. No doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it would be absolutely critical to anybody that was in there to have flight. I would think sure. that fiber to, this, to that site is not that great an expense, 100000 per land. Well, if everything is going to go underground, all of the, right now, the plan is for all of the power and communications to be undergrounded mm -hmm. up there. So fiber needs its own separate conduit and communication needs its own separate. You can't put them in the same conduit. I understand that. So. Am I imagining things or is there already a fiber line that goes across that? It probably is. is. Oh, there's a like co-op fiber line? Yeah. There, there is a, um, there is a transmission line that goes, that bisects the property. And Velco owns the fiber that's on those poles. Okay. Whether or not you could get Velco to give you a strand or two of the fiber, I don't know. Right. But it's not a part of the equation that it's available. Okay. Um, so, what were you going to say, Evan? Well, I confused myself. Okay, good. Um, I mean, historically, we underspend on select board. Consulting services, consultant services, I think this would fit well. We are right in our new fiscal year. And I think $1,500 is a good spend. Question that I came up with, and I don't remember why, but we have our 
budgeted select board consultant services for 12,000. We estimated spending 52,000. That was a budget status report of last meeting. We haven't spent a nickel. So that 32 was the bridge uh, consultant to the bridge work. Was that would come out of the bridge call, No, not for the consultant. It wouldn't think for long. Uh, that's a big rabbit hole. I think okay. yeah. I think this could, should come out of select board consult. Remind me, I have it in the next, the next spell spreadsheet somewhere on my computer. So do you, should we make a motion to spend it? Motion to authorize, motion to authorize expense up to $1,500 to LCBC for grant application. It, can we make it 2000 Sure. That's the exact number I meant to say. Tongue tied right there I was. Second. Okay, discussion. Um, I I fully support the motion and concept. My question is to Carl. I think is uh, how much how much time do you think in your time it would take to coordinate all of that? I guess my depending on what your answer is, my offer would be to assist if there's anything that I can do. I did touch a little bit on that. Would Set asking him about if there was other work that was going to be needed from the town. Like, is the town going to have to hire other consultants? Get information in, or the town is going to have to work deep up that because it was done already. And he didn't expect that there would be any other expense. And I don't see that there would be a big blank drain on me to, to do anything. Well, most of it was done, meaning you, they would lift and shift from Northern Waters. He did say it's a fairly involved application. You know, the question I had, I thought it was one of those simple ones, three pages, or if it was something that you end up writing 45 pages answering the same question. <laughs> it's six <laughs> different ways. Yeah. Uh, but he, he did say it's going to be Yeah. Well, I again, I'm very supportive. I would like, um, Rather than just give them blanket approval to file something on our behalf, uh, I think we should see an application before it's submitted. Because of the time constraints and the means in July that we have left, I would like to too, but I just don't see how there's headway for it. I think they're asking. Duncan and I got it done with Northern Borders. Duncan Paul and I. We literally had like 24 hour turnaround. Yeah, literally. So you don't think LCPC needs the turnaround time? No, they will need their time to get it all together, but we I'm saying we can look it over within we can look it over if it's if they have a two day deadline that precedes the ap actual application deadline, two days is enough time for a couple people to get eyes on it. Yeah, and if if the board is comfortable with that, again, I'm I'm more than happy to be one of those sets of eyes. I think Beth is really good at, you know, reviewing stuff like that too. So if you guys are comfortable with Beth and I and Carl, um, you know, getting a look at it and kind of approving it before it gets sent out the door. I'm certainly comfortable with that. Do you need authority to sign anything though? And I'm comfortable with that. Also. No, we're authorizing the expense. We're authorizing the expense. Authorizing the expense. Amending my motion. On the motion maker, right? To you know, whatever it is, two thousand dollars to LCPC contingent upon that Duncan and Carl approving the application. Well, they'll have already done the work. Well, that's that's that. That's yeah, that's kind of oh, how do you, how do you want to handle? How about it? How about I would like to start a progress report for the July 17th meeting. And on July 17th, you can make the motion to offer as it was submitted pending Beth's and Dr. G. Right. We could have a second motion here. But okay. So we're just authorizing money for them to prepare it. Yeah. They will have a status report, of course, before our next meeting. Yeah. And Beth, I'm not going to that. So I guess it is out of the stands. Yeah. Okay. Fair. We haven't voted yet. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. That give you the direction you need, Carl. Is that confusing, Donna? What? Was that confusing? I was uh, lost for a second. 
in the end, he doesn't want to talk about any of the things we talked about. Back to the original question. We put too much work on it. No, it's fine. Okay. I still can't believe you said thinking of a rickshaw. I just, I just wanted to comment too, Carl. I, it is so refreshing to have a report that you can read and understand and have some actual background information on. This this is good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a nice read. I, I actually read it. Yeah. Well, nice <laughs> I know. I'll mean, find that hard to believe. It answers a lot of questions. I don't need it though. Um, okay. All right, last item. Update. Update okay. on job. Take search. us away. Okay. Um, Are we being overwhelmed with applicants? Yeah, uh, not overwhelmed. I wouldn't say we have a we have nine total applicants. Um, that's not bad. Um, Great. Yes. I got an email from Scott Myers. Um, Scott basically said. Out of the nine, um, he feels that three are worthy of further interviews by him, um, which he is conducting on Thursday and Friday. Scott Myers. Scott Myers is a different Scott Myers. Yeah, it's a different Scott Myers. Municipal resource. Yep, continue. Yeah, no one's kind of turned it over to, to Scott. Um, <laughs> yeah, not that Scott Myers. Um, so he's going to interview. He's going to interview three. I. I okay, but can I ask? Are you comfortable? Have you seen all nine? No, I have not. Let me continue, and I'll oh, answer okay. your question. Yeah, I think. You will. I think. I think I'll answer your question. So I, I responded back to him, and I said specifically, um, "Well, let me finish with what he said. He said of the three that he's going to interview, two expressed interest in a combined position." this CED S in the town administrator. One appeared to be interested only in the town administrator. But it appeared to be. Appeared to be. So he's not certain of that. Yeah, yet. and that will probably be clarified when he does his interviews with them Thursday, Friday this week. Um, so I, I sent him back a, a, an email question um, asking him to verify that with the three applicants is it a deal killer for either way, you know, for any of them, if if it's one or the other? Um, the other thing that I asked him for was a copy of all nine resumes and letters of interest. And I said, if confidentiality is an issue, an issue he could redact the names on it. So we just looked at the resumes and I said, I'm not sure on this board who would want to see all mine. I would like to see all mine. I'm thinking. I'd like to see them. Yeah. 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 The whole board. Yeah. So um, I haven't. You know, that was late this afternoon, so I haven't heard back from them. So I'm, I'm assuming that's not an issue. And, and if I get them, I will forward them out to everybody, and you can review. Um, the other aspect of things is. You know, I just reiterated with him that this is a really important hire for us and we really want to get it right. So I'm kind of asking him based on the applications that they got, we're going to know he thinks they've got a, a good pool of candidates. Muster. For us. Um, or whether we need to go back. And you haven't you have been back. I have not heard back. From him on that. The other thing I want to bring into the conversation is I put out a request for interest for the community economic development specialist. I got exactly two responses. I forwarded both of those to everybody. So hopefully everybody got those. In my opinion, only one of those merits the possibility of an interview. Um, I'm not going to use his name in an open session for confidentiality reasons, but um, I guess that really begs the question, do you want to conduct an interview for the one person that I think we would probably all agree is the only one worth interviewing? Um, and how does that impact our decision-making process going forward 
with this with MRI. I, let me just add to that. I did contact the individual um, and I said, you do realize this is a 24 hour a week position. There is the possibility of combining two positions. If it's the right person, does that interest you? He emailed me back and said, I'm fully aware that it was 24 hours a week. Well, I feel I would be qualified for the full-time combined position. I'm not interested in doing that. So he really is interested in hmm. just the community economic development specialist job, not the combined position. I think we should interview. I, I think so too. I disagree. Are you just saying that to disagree or? No, no, I want to hear from MRI first. I I, I actually do think. Answer, so I think I've been vocal enough to say that financially we can't afford both positions. Um, so we did just reduce the tax rate. We shouldn't have done that. Maybe we would have the money. <laughs> I'm fine. Regretfully, sort of in heaven's camp. I'd like to see how there's um, yeah. Oh, hard time. Hard time. Hard time. Can the minutes please reflect? Oh, all caps. Hard time. Hard all caps, time. All caps bolded. Let me pop it here. Finish, please finish. Well, I just feel like if you get more information, get when we know about the possibility of the candidates that are interested in the company position. I, I just would like to have that information before we interview somebody and give them, even say, come in for an interview, give people an impression that they're a finalist or whatnot. Especially if they're interested in, you know, reading the minutes or watching the video, knowing that there's only two people that applied and only one was contacted. It'd be a pretty good guess. They would have their books pretty high. Um, if they were listening, they would also hear us talking about the well, the fund administrator search <clears throat> and the it, economic development aspect of that, and that if they're unsure if one of the applicants is only interested in time administration. But if we're interested in having an interview. So I would like to interview everybody. When we get to a point of interviewing the TA, TA I would like to interview everybody because we don't know what we don't know. And I, I, I agree with everybody you. meaning nine, no, no, nine applications. No, no, no. Three. No, the two mm -hmm. candidates for the TA position and also the uh, ED position. Okay. The one candidate. Gotcha. For the ED position, okay. basically the filtered list of applicants for yeah. both. I do less regretfully agree with Eben that we should probably hear more information from yeah. MRI first. Uh, no, I agree too. Yeah. I'm not saying we should have an interview so with the person right away. I'm yeah, saying yeah. that we should not say we're not interviewing. Right. We don't need any action on this. But okay. what it is a promising thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we need. I don't think we need any specific thing. Yeah. Well done, that. Uh, I mean. Once you get a response, could you forward that? To, okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I'll forward the response, and presumably, I mean, I, I assume the nine. Yeah, you know, the nine resumes. Nine, that's that's a good number. I, I hope that yeah, I hope we got a good a it's good awesome. pool of people there to choose from. If they're saying they've got three that look promising, then. well, and that was another question I posed to him as you. You've selected three. I, at some point, I'd like to know why you think those three yeah. are contenders and the other yeah. six are. Well, that was wh where my question was going to be, Duncan. Was um, how how I I like to think outside the box. I'm not sure we, these folks aren't just going to get us somebody that fits right smack in the middle of the box. Yeah, well, well, like I think that's a good reason to okay. request the full line. Oh yeah. All right. I'm content. Um, so there's a whole bunch of dates in the latter half of our packet, like a lot of dates for things that are coming up in July. So what? Um there is the LCPC annual meeting. Oh, yeah. There right. is the well, it's not in our packet, but there's the um governor's visit. 
There is the NEMS 20 year celebration on the same day as the governor's yeah, the governor. bike ride. Um, there is also a request for um, the Vermont uh, Council on Rural Development, who, by the way, helped to facilitate our event that we had back in May uh, or June. June. Um, they're having their summit, uh, if anyone is interested. There's just a lot happening. Read through the packet. There's a lot out there. What time is um, the there's also a request to have more involvement in the highway byway. In the Green Mountain Byway. Green Mountain Byway, thank you. I like Highway Byway better. <laughs> highway Byway. You can join and make the suggestion. But anyway, I just want to throw all the things out right. Yeah. Right. What what time is the governor in town? I'm trying to put it in. Is the governor going to be here? 11 a.m. Is it like 12? Is it 12? I have to look at my email. 12 to 12 to 10. Okay. I'm putting it in my calendar. Mark's not going to miss an event like that. So there's lots of events that we should try to make a showing at. I I would item number five in here, the email invitation with what council world development. Yeah. I would do that. Okay. If I am totally dating my <laughs> Okay, listen, listen. All right, is everyone good with Duncan attending the Vermont Community Leadership Summit on August 15th? Yeah, yes. I think that's a great idea. Good, cool. It's all yours. I'm glad you're going. Um, Doug has invited us all to the Lamar Valley Rail Trail meeting on July 18th. It's about funding anything so the bike lane could and should be part of that discussion. Planning to go to that, Shane? I was going to try to zoom in. It's right in the middle of my workday. Um, so okay. I guess by way of announcement, I'm starting a new job um, next Monday doing right. tech support at Cambridge Elementary. So oh, cool. Congratulations. Very exciting. So you, so you should be able to zoom right in with that. That's what I'm hoping is, you know, I'll, I, what I would probably just end up doing is turn on Zoom, turn on record, and then, you know, go back to work. But um, unfortunately, sure. I like this. You getting, you, well, you're going to have to talk to someone else about town business while you're in there getting your coffee. Yeah. Coffee. He's going to have to actually read his emails now. Uh, but Really a big deal. Let's see what I can buddies. see what strings I can pull in Cambridge Elementary. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um check out dates and try to attend what you can. That would be great. You can ask the background test, yeah. Not yet. There was one, I don't know if it's an actual item or not, but the the uh, the passive grant thing for the truck or the vehicle for Tim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that an action? It really could be something. if we want to submit a truck or, the or a vehicle. No, for the, you just sent a picture in. I was thinking you could send a greeter in. But anyway, you could win $1,000 or $1,500 or something in this contest that I forwarded you all. Yeah. I, uh, I thought the town guys might like it. Where did we the findings? They it shook was, my inbox. Was, actually, yeah, I think there's a state email. VLCT, VLCT sent it, and then Beth forwarded it like immediately afterwards. Every once in a while, get it. Um, um, so anyway, if we want to do that, I was thinking the grader too with a picture of Mark in it. Oh, I took the. Oh, I, I, I took I, that I, picture of Mark in the grader that made it on our Facebook page. I put it there. Um, oh okay. So anyway, yeah, if we want to submit one, I think we have best in tow and best two tow. When's it due? It's only an hour and a half. Uh, July thirty first. Okay. So Jason will be at our next meeting. Maybe we can ask Jason Carl what, if he has a vehicle he'd like to submit, and we'll take a picture. Or a vehicle or two. It sounds like we could maybe have two. There's best in tow and best two tow. So there's the best in tow is the best looking vehicle in the fleet. The best two toe is uh, this might not be your best looking or the one you're most proud of, but it has put in the miles, held together over the years, and still is in active service. An old pit grader and a grader. So yeah, this is where it would really pay off if we got the plane decals on the boxes of the trucks. You know, there's still time. Yeah, uh, get well, one of them was a two thousand dollar gift certificate. You know, for things like maintenance, lighting, and wiring. I mean, 
That's that's a so undercarriage lights for the trucks. You're saying we could put Kristen. Oh, sure. <laughs> Would you need some grants for the select board individuals? Could they select for good Christmas lights? Oh my gosh, Duncan, this is the packet from our last meeting in case you want it. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Meeting adjourned at whatever time it is. That was really really long. Eight, eight, that was a great meeting. Eight twenty-five. It was yeah, supposed to be. It was supposed to be done by. Yeah,